I, I was just really just, uh, just struck by such an unbelievable amount of humility to see some of the strongest people I ever met in my life. But as you had all the Florida eight task forces there working, and it's just crazy. We had the same amount of resources deployed on a one acre site that you had in 12 counties with Hurricane Michael. You know, but it was such hellish conditions, whether it be the lightning, the rain, uh, 50 mile per hour gusts and winds. Um, and then there was the physical challenges, like I said, the, their feet, their hands, their boots, their bodies, the swollen knees, um, you know, and uh, top of that to be so sensitive. Someone's loved ones are there. And that you, uh, you've got to pay respect because sometimes what you, what you might uh, uncover may be the only things they had to remember them by. Um, women of the task forces, they knew how to respond. Um, but you know, their concrete saws aren't made to run 24 hours straight. They did. Over 26 million pounds of concrete and debris were moved from the site. More than 800 members from state and federal task forces were a part of this mission. With nearly 400 of those being the Florida USAR teams working on site. So again, the, the dedication and commitment and the willingness that, that, that those of you that, that lead the men and women, uh, thank you, thank you. Um, we're gonna make sure you've got the benefits you need, the mental health, we're gonna make sure your teams have the peace of mind they have regarding cancer. From all of us in Tallahassee, uh, thank you for what you do, the men and women that you lead, the operations you got around the clock.